What's up everyone, it's Marco from PhoneDog.com and welcome back to day 13 of the One Plus One Challenge here at PhoneDog.com. I've read through the comments and I saw some really interesting requests for the One Plus One Challenge and I promise you I'll be taking a look through those again and I'll be picking a handful of them and then putting them into video. But this time I want to talk about the specs and hardware inside the One Plus One because, well, it's a feat of its own. Considering the price tag of only $299 and $350 for both of those models and and the specs you get inside, it's a feat of its own for being a spectacularly, like, specced out device for a low amount of money. So enough of that said, let's get straight into the One Plus One Day 13 Challenge where we talk about the hardware and the specs. So if you want to wrap up all the Android smartphones of 2014 into one single numerical phrase, I'm going to be saying 801 because, well, the Samsung Galaxy S5 is an 801 chip, the HTC One M8 is an 801 chip, the LG G3 is an 801 chip, and this guy is the 801 chip. The same 2.5 gigahertz quad-core processor that's really running the Samsung Galaxy S5 from the LG G3 is inside the OnePlus One, alongside the same 3 gigabytes of RAM that you only find in the LG G3 32 gigabytes model and you also have the same Adreno 330 GPU that you'll find in the M8, the LG G3, the S5 and all the other flagships announced in this 2014 quarter including the Oppo Find 7 and 7A and all the other flagships that probably will be released in 2014. And you also must not forget about the 3100 milliamp hour battery inside the OnePlus One because that thing is a beast of a battery in its own. It will probably last you over six hours of on-screen time and standby time is over 24 hours hours for my moderate usage. I mean, that's a very impressive number for a device that's not even US spec. I mean, this is kind of like hack to work on the US networks. It works on AT&T and T-Mobile and a few other GSM networks here in the US. But again, it's not really carrier specific. It works on a lot of different carriers and it's not even like specified for AT&T or T-Mobile or Boost Mobile or any of those. And the last hardware feature I want to talk about is the 13 megapixel camera. We'll talk about it in great detail because we will have a camera video and also Bowie HD made a video just about the OnePlus One camera a couple days ago. I'll make sure to leave a link below to check that one out. It's a really good video also. Uh, but it's a 13 megapixel camera. It picks up great images and also has 4K DCI and 4K UHD. So again, the OnePlus One is a super specced out device. And again, it's 300 bucks off contract. No contract, 300 bucks for a 16 gigabyte model and 350 bucks for a 64 gigabyte model. And you get all of the latest flagship specs. So again, my name is Marco Hanna from PhoneDog.com. It's been a quick day 13 of the OnePlus One Challenge. Make sure to leave me any more requests in this video or all the other videos, including the introduction video, and I'll be taking a handful of those and making them into videos in the future of the OnePlus One Challenge. Again, my name is Marco Hanna from PhoneDog.com, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.